Hello and welcome to Biopsych. My name is Peter Karp and I direct the Bioinformatics Research Group at SRI International, a private nonprofit research institute in Menlo Park, California. This webinar series will introduce you to the information present in Biopsych and to the many tools available to help you search and analyze information in Biopsych. Our overall mission at Biopsych is to provide you with up-to-date and comprehensive information on microbial genomes and metabolic pathways together with powerful bioinformatics tools for searching, visualizing, and analyzing that information. We think you will find that Biopsych is both a highly functional web portal for microbial genomes and is quite easy to use. This first webinar in the series will give you an overview of the functionality present in Biopsych. Biopsych is a collection of organism-specific databases for thousands of sequenced organisms, mostly microbes. We call these databases Pathway Genome Databases, or PGDBs for short. The Biopsych collection of PGDBs is divided into three tiers, and we can find the listing of databases by scrolling down the page here. Here in Tier 1, we have intensively curated databases that have been subjected to a tremendous amount of manual curation by PhD level scientists. Tier one databases have received at least one person year of curation, and in some cases, much more. For example, EcoPsych is a comprehensive database for E. coli K12. Its contents have been curated over more than two decades from 36,000 publications. Metapsych is a multi-organism metabolic pathway and enzyme database that collects 2,700 metabolic pathways from 3,000 organisms. Its contents have been derived from 59,000 publications. These are all experimentally elucidated metabolic pathways. In Tier 2, we have computationally created databases that have seen moderate subsequent curation. We have about 40 databases in Tier 2. The Biopsych subscription model has allowed us to perform substantially more curation for the Tier 2 databases than was possible in previous years. Then in Tier 3, we have databases that were solely computationally created. They have undergone no curation. In our last Biopsych release, we had 14,500 Tier 3 databases. How are Tier 2 and Tier 3 databases created? That procedure starts with an annotated genome for the organism, such as in the form of a GenBank entry. Our Pathway Tools software converts the gene and protein information in the GenBank entry into the PGDB format, including the gene functional annotations, which Pathway Tools does not predict. Next, we run several prediction components of Pathway Tools that predict the metabolic reactions catalyzed by the enzymes in the genome, the transport reactions catalyzed by transporters, metabolic pathways that these metabolic reactions form, and pathway hole fillers or previously unidentified proteins that catalyze reaction steps in metabolic pathways that have no assigned enzyme. The software also predicts operons within microbial genomes. It computes orthologs between proteins in this new genome and the proteins in all other genomes in Biopsych. And it computes PFAM domains across all proteins in this genome. Next, we run a series of import tools that import a variety of data from external databases, including regulatory data from Reg Transbase, mostly transcriptional regulatory data, subcellular locations from PSORT DB, and Go terms and protein features from Uniprobe. We also import database links, organism phenotype data, gene essentiality data from OG and phenotype microarray data when possible. Then, funding permitting, we go on to perform additional curation for the database and sometimes create a metabolic model from the database. 
If Biosyc does not contain an organism that you'd like to have a database for, you can request that we add it by sending a support request from the bottom of most Biosyc pages. Or you can build the database yourself using a locally installed copy of the Pathway Tool software, which is free from SRI for academic use. I'll describe shortly how to obtain Pathway Tools. Let me quickly introduce you to some important Biosyc tools that will be described more fully in later webinars in the series. These tools are useful for navigating the genome, metabolic, and regulatory information space, and for analyzing high-throughput data sets. Our first tool is called the Cellular Overview. It is an organism-specific metabolic map diagram that is zoomable and searchable. Each node in the diagram is a metabolite, and each arrow is an enzyme-catalyzed reaction. Both can be identified by mousing over elements of the diagram or by zooming in until their names are visible. It can be searched using the commands in this right sidebar menu, and it can be zoomed using the mouse scroll wheel. You can paint transcriptomics or metabolomics data onto this diagram. You can also paint such data onto individual pathway diagrams, onto multi-pathway diagrams that we call pathway collages. We also have a tool under the metabolism menu called metabolic root search, that enables you to search for optimal routes through the metabolic network from a starting to an ending compound. This tool can be used in metabolic engineering because it also allows these routes to contain additional reactions added from Metapsych. The next diagram, called the Genome Overview, is accessible from the Genome menu. It depicts the entire genome of the organism. Each little shark tooth here is one gene, whose left-right di directionality indicates transcription direction, and whose up-down directionality indicates protein coding versus RNA coding. Color indicates operon membership. This diagram is the lowest zoom level of the Biopsych Genome Browser, which can zoom all the way into the genome sequence and also has a comparative mode. The third diagram, called the Regulatory Overview, is also accessible from the genome menu. It captures the full regulatory network of an organism and is only available for those biopsych databases with substantial regulatory networks defined. Note that both the cellular overview and the genome overview can be printed out in poster format, both from the biopsych website and from Pathway Tools. The omics dashboard is available through the analysis menu and it enables interactive exploration of transcriptomics and metabolomics data sets from a cellular system's perspective. For example, here we are viewing a transcriptomics data set in which E. coli cells are shifting from anaerobic to aerobic growth over six different time points gathered during the experiment. Each of these panels shows a different cellular system, including biosynthesis, degradation, and energy metabolism although some of the lower panels not shown here go beyond, well beyond metabolism. And each plot within a panel, for example, there's a plot for amino acid biosynthesis and a plot for nucleotide biosynthesis. Each plot shows the response of a subsystem of the overall system shown in the panel. Each color is a different time point. In the biosynthesis panel, we can see that most biosynthetic subsystems are increasing their expression levels, presumably as cellular growth rate increases during the shift to aerobic metabolism. And if we click on amino acid biosynthesis, we see the expression levels of each individual amino acid biosynthetic pathway, alanine, arginine, etc. And so above each pathway are the genes um, within that pathway, the small dots are individual genes and the large dots are the averages of all genes in that time point. So by letting your eye follow the large dots, you can see how the average response of that subsystem is changing over time. Smart tables are another very powerful tool within Biopsych and you can get to them from the smart tables menu, uh, usually by going to 
my smart tables or by going to special smart tables. Let's let's go to special smart tables. Um, special smart tables. Well, in general, smart tables are collections of sets of genes or sets of metabolites or sets of pathways or sets of sequences or sets of sequence sites. This set of special smart tables um, list all the entities of different types within a given within our current pathway genome database, like all the metabolites of E. coli, all the genes, all its metabolic pathways, etc. Now, if I click on all genes of E. coli, we'll go to that special smart table. Um, and basically, the smart table is a tabular view of database content. Um, and so here we have a smart table containing 4,600 genes of E. coli. And in each, for the smart table, we're seeing the gene name, accession number, chromosomal positions, and the gene product. Now, within smart tables, you can add or remove um, additional columns here. So here's the full set of columns that are available. So if I want to add, for example, um, let's see, a regulation diagram for each gene, we can do that um, as another column, which now I have to scroll over to. And so um, this diagram shows for each gene um, the, the, the regulation effects on that gene. Um, so other things we can do with smart tables are to perform what, what are called transforms. So for example, we could transform this set of genes into the set of all metabolic pathways containing those genes as another smart table. We can also perform uh, omics data enrichment analysis on a gene set. Now here's an overview of the Pathway Tools software, which you can install locally at your site. Pathway Tools is one of the largest, most comprehensive bioinformatics software systems, and it has four basic modules, namely Pathologic, which takes as input an annotated genome and creates a new pathway genome database with inferred metabolic pathways, inferred operons, um, and inferred reactions and transporters. You can apply this to your own genomes at home. The Pathway Genome Navigator lets you query and visualize and analyze the contents of BioPsych database of a, a new pathway genome database. The Pathway Genome Editors let you modify a pathway genome database, like by adding a new reaction or pathway or changing a gene function. And the MetaPsych module lets you create an, a quantitative metabolic flux model using flux balance analysis from a pathway genome database. Note that Pathologic, the editors, and Metaflux are not available through the BioPsych website. They're only available through the locally installed version of Pathway Tools. From this downloads page, see the URL here, you can request a license to the Pathway Tools software that you can use to create BioPsych-like databases. You can also request here a license to the downloadable data files containing all BioPsych data. All BioPsych subscribers can access the latest versions of all the data files, but you need to go through this licensing process. And also two-year-old versions of all the data files are free to all users. Note that the metabolic pathway prediction component of Pathway Tools depends heavily on our MetaPsych database because pathway prediction works by recognizing in the sequence genome known metabolic pathways from MetaPsych. MetaPsych is the most comprehensive metabolic pathway database as shown by the statistics here. It has many more pathways than CAG does, significantly more reactions. Uh, it does have fewer metabolites. It also has extensive citations to the literature and curator authored many reviews of enzymes and pathways that are largely absent from KEG. Now let me clarify the difference between MetaPsych and the organism specific databases in BioPsych. MetaPsych is unique within the BioPsych collection in that it is a multi-organism database containing curated experimentally determined pathways from thousands of organisms. For example, MetaPsych would contain only those Pseudomonas aeruginosa pathways that our curators have found in the experimental literature. On the other hand, a BioPsych Tier 3 Pseudomonas aeruginosa database contains all pathways that were computationally predicted for that organism. 
plus experimentally determined pathways that were imported from MetaPsych during that process. Thus, a biopsych database attempts to provide a complete picture of the metabolic network of the organism and contains the genome of the organism. MetaPsych contains literature-derived pathways only and does not contain the full genome of any organism. Let me give you a quick tour of the biopsych home page. This is the biopsych menu bar here. The sites menu links to the entry web pages we have set up for our more highly curated databases. Those pages contain some organism-specific announcements and information, and when you start your session at those pages, that organism becomes your default organism for querying. Here we have buttons for logging in and out and for creating a new biopsych account. Accounts have several advantages, and we requ require creation of a free account after a certain number of page views. When you create an account, you have the option of setting preferences that control how you see the site. You have the option of setting a preferred starting database. And by default, everyone starts at E. coli, EcoPsych. But if you're working on a specific organism and you always want to start at that organism, then you can set that as a preference. You also need an account to work with smart tables, which are extremely powerful, and your account will enable you to obtain email updates about BioPsych. This region of the page shows you the current organism your searches will be directed against, right here. The help menu takes you to a host of useful web pages, including our BioPsych guide, a glossary of terms, a guide to searching BioPsych, publications relating to BioPsych, and other material that will help you get the most out of BioPsych. In the next webinar in the series, we're going to introduce you to searching. Biopsych.